Yo, what's up guys? Leon Mookie here, and I'm back with another part of What If Izuku Was Trained by Terry Bogard. This is part 9, and the last part, I basically went over on, well, the events that happened between, after and between the USJ attack. With in between, Rock was actually fighting against Mr. Big, which... He actually got away and defeated him, but at quite a cost of injuries. With even Izuku and Ojiro having quite a bit of injuries and being lectured by Mai. But then, Mizo Shoji meets Joe Higashi, the last member of Team Fatal Fury. With now, Joe having a second student, being Shoji. So with that said, let's get into this, shall we guys? Izuku is in his room recovering from his injuries against Billy with thinking to himself, I wish I could use this time to get stronger and train, but it's soon him remembering Mai's wild declaration to train him would soon him having that of a scared face saying, but I'm terrified of doing so right now. Until one of his Eight, one of his phantom pains began to show, began to appear again, as his body still hasn't fully healed yet. But soon, him looking at his injuries, and then thinking to himself, "Is this truly my limit? I mean, I barely was able to even put a scratch on Billy before, given to everything I got. And is this my peak? Have I finally reached the peak of my true strength?" But soon feeling a little bit frustrated as he says this to about himself. But soon, the door to his room actually opens as he sees that of a blonde girl wearing a hat. But soon saying, ah, hey, Izuku. With then him blushing saying, oh, uh, Alice, hey. With soon Izuku saying, hey, how did you? But soon she answering, I asked Terry and also Mai on um, where you live, so they gave me your address. And she says this with a cheerful smile with, as her eyes are closed. With soon Izuku saying, oh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. As he says this with a realization and still blushing. With soon she actually sits on Izuku's bed right next to him. With then Izuku began blushing, with then saying, so, uh... What reason did you come here? As he says this with that of a seriously red face and bl with also nervousness in his voice. But soon Alice saying, I was worried about you. After all, I heard what happened at the USJ. What soon Izuku saying, oh, well, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I just got, I got off with a couple of scratches. Nothing serious, as he tries to brush it off like it's nothing. But soon, she getting frustrated, saying, Are you serious? With Izuku caught off guard by the girl who's always cheerful, soon has raises her voice. With soon saying, You may be strong, Izuku, and I mean really strong, but this is, but look at you. You're still bandaged up after everything. Maybe some of your bandages are gone, but still. With then... He's just saying, yeah, but I, I, uh, then saying, damn it, you're right. With soon saying, wait, with then say, saying to himself, I, I thought that I was going to die. F scratch that. I was terrified because I thought Mashiro was going to die. Billy Khan. Geese's right hand man and most trusted lieutenant. He seriously is something else. He's something on a whole other level. And yet, I wasn't even able to even beat him. Scratch that. I barely, I only, I had to go all out to beat him. And yet, it was barely anything. And he stood standing back up. Where I was barely even trying to even stand. With saying, if this is my limit, if this is how far I can go, I'll never, I'll never succeed my master. Hell, 
forget ever even becoming the next new king of fighters. What then? She actually putting Izuku close to her, with Izuku actually was taken off guard, saying, don't you speak like that, Izuku Midoriya. You're strong, and I mean really strong. So you basically wasn't strong enough to handle him, Billy, at first. So what? You'll grow from this. You'll get stronger and stronger. Because you want to know why? You're the disciple of the hungry wolf himself. Just like me. I may not be as gifted as you or like Mashiro. But I know for sure. You are going to be strong. And I'll be rooting for you all the way. With hearing this, Izuku was quite taken back. With then looking Alice in her eyes. What soon... Alice looking at Izuku in his eyes too, with then silence happening, before the two began to blush really hard, and then stepped away from each other, saying, Well, I'll still rooting for you, but as your rival, I still want to beat you with my own hands. Would soon say, Yeah, I figured, but thanks for the words, Alice. I really appreciate it. With soon the two had a bad of silence. Within, she's standing up from Izuku's bed and saying, well, I just wanted to cheer you up and see how you were doing. That's all. So, see you, Izuku. With then, Izuku said, yeah, see you, Alice. With then, she closing the door and then walking to the, the entrance within, Seeing Inko saying, thank you for letting me inside to see your son, Mrs. Midoriya. As she says this, having her hands together and bowing. For the matriarch of the Midoriya household. What soon she's saying, oh, no, it's okay, sweetie. You know, Izuku told me about you once. I'm actually glad to see he has somebody that cares about him deeply. Besides just Terry and the others. With soon, she's saying, oh, it's, well... I, well, I do care about him a lot, but as my rival, I want to beat him at his best, and I want to see him continue getting stronger, too. That's all. What soon, Inko saying, ah, I see. That's, it's still, even so, I'm still glad that you came to cheer Izuku up. With then, Alice soon smiling and adjusting her hat, saying, you're welcome, ma'am. And I'll always do the same for him as well. Anytime you ask me. Within she exiting the apartment building. Within Inko thinking to himself. My my. Izuku has actually got quite the interesting girl to fall for him. And I couldn't tell the same thing about him. But soon Izuku having his face on his cheeks. Blushing really hard saying. Alice was in my room. And she cheered me up. And we were so close. Oh god, what am I thinking, damn it? With soon Alice ha clutching, her f clutching her hand to her chest saying, Oh, my heart is beating so fast. I was so close to actually kissing him, but I can't do that. At least not yet. I gotta beat him in a proper fight to confess to him. But still, it was pretty tempting, if I do say so. With then she's slapping her face saying still I need to get strong just like Izuku and one day I am going to confess to him just you wait Izuku Midoriya with then she going off on her own as well as for the next couple of days Shoji is training with Joe as he's trying to get a handle of his Muay Thai with Joe, ha with Mizo actually having a hard time, given that Joe's fighting style is that on trying to be flexible, you had to be flexible and fast, while also being strong at the same time. But then, uh, Mizo showed you saying, Joe Sensei, may I ask, can I use my quirk to get stronger? I mean, it, with the multiple arms, I could, but soon Joe saying, uh uh, n out of the question. If soon saying, uh, but look, there's nothing wrong with using your quirk to increase your strength and power. However, if you're in a fight, 
That's basically being dirty. I mean, sure, unless you can find ways to incorporate your quirk into Muay Thai fighting styles, then maybe. But until then, let's focus on the basics. Now, let's focus on jabs and kicks. Is that understood? Let's say, yes, sensei. Let's soon say, all right, let's start. With the two basically continue the basics of Muay Thai training. Soon, the days on heading back to UA have now begun with Izuku and Ojiro entering the classroom together. But soon, everyone looks at the green ad boy and the cork tail user. But soon, Ida saying, Midoriya, Ojiro, are the two of you okay? I heard that you, after what happened, that your wounds couldn't. But soon, Izuku saying, hey, Ida, please calm down. You, you please take it time to breathe. But soon, Odro saying, yeah, he's right. Allow well, us explain. It's just that our wounds took longer to heal. That's all. We, Recovery Girl did heal them. It's just going to be way longer than before. We're still pretty injured, though. But soon, Ochako saying, Are you sure you guys should be still at school? Shouldn't you be recovering? But soon, he's saying, Like my master said, You can't always slack off on everything. All he wounds heal with time. And that's just what we need, time. I think doing some schoolwork should, ha should probably help with that as well. Don't you agree, Mashiro? As soon, Ojiro saying, if you say so, Izuku, <laughs> I'm still not as good as you. If it was then, they all take their seats. Was soon somebody entering the, the classroom with it being a mummified Aizawa covered in bandages. With soon Mina saying, Oh my god, Mr. Aizawa, are you sure you should be going, should be coming in the classroom looking like that? With then Aizawa saying, th there are things more important than just my recovery. Uh, Ma Midoriya and Ojiro can actually understand that. But soon, Izuku is scratching the back of his head. Soon, Ojiro just giving off that of a nervous laugh. But soon, telling them that their battles are not over yet. But soon, everybody freaking out a little bit. With soon, Mineta saying, are we going to fight against more villains? Whips then him saying in the next couple of weeks the sport the UA Sports Festival will begin. But then hearing this, everybody gets psyched. With soon Kirishima screaming out that the sports festival is coming and he's hyped for it. But then Izuku thinking to himself, the UA Sports Festival. Now's my chance. I'll be able to fight the best of UA. Well, mostly that of the first years. I would want to fight against the first, the second and third years if I get if I can ever get the chance. But still, I'll, but dealing with the best of the best of the first years, I think I can deal with that. But then, soon, Jiro saying, "Is that actually okay, sir? Of us having the sports festival, given what happened about a couple days ago?" But then Shoji also saying, "I agree with Jiro." Don't you think it's quite dangerous for us to have the sports festival, given that a villain attack did happen did happen to us and could happen again? If then I was saying, I get where you're all coming from, and I understand, but this is also to realize your skills and to improve as well. The UA Sports Festival is too important for you to be scouted out by pros. Once you graduate from UA. So you need this more than anything. Soon explaining that. They'll also double security. By putting more heroes on patrols around the sports festival. So they'll have nothing to worry about. Hearing this. A few in class 1A begin to sigh of relief. But then soon. The class UA classes soon begin. But then it's almost time for lunch. With... Izuku going to Mashiro's desk, thinking to himself, So, what do you think? So, plan on doing a little bit of training today, Mashiro? After after school? Saying, 
course, I'm always looking forward to spar. But soon the two martial artists in the class look at a certain brunette haired girl giving off that of intimidating aura. As she soon says, Deku, my Ojiro, with the saying, yeah, I'm going to do my best. With soon, she's they saying, wait, what? And she soon screams out, I'm going to do my best. As she soon screams it out again and again for everyone to hear in class. With soon, Ida is kind of confused on why she's so pumped up. As both Izuku and Ojiro look at each other with that of confused eyes. As the four friends began heading to the cafeteria. As Izuku stopped and asked, Uh, Uraka, why are you so excited and hyped for the UA Sports Festival? What soon saying, well, it's because I wanted to be scouted out by a pro, pro agency, at least a good one at that. What soon, Ojo was saying, it can't be just that. There has to be another reason. Actually, why is the reason do you want to be a pro by any chance? What soon, she's scratching the back of her head and feeling that of, well, embarrassed, saying that she wants to be a pro for the money. What soon, catching off the three males with them all saying, money? What then, she's saying, yeah, it's not as noble as I know you guys and he does as well, but for me, I only want to be a pro for the money. But soon, he's saying, I don't buy it. As she soon looks at the green at boy, but then the others looking at at Izuk saying, there's more to it than just the money. Can you, if you don't want to explain it, then I can understand if it's too private or embarrassing. But soon saying, no, it's not like that. But soon she began explaining that she wants to be a pro to support her family, her parents, as their construction business is failing. So because of this, she wants to do her, her best at the sports festival to be scouted out by a, an amazing pro agency to basically gain enough money to support her family, to help them and financially. With then hearing this, all th the three of them couldn't help but smile. But soon, Ojiro saying, if it's like that, why didn't you say so? I mean, it makes sense on wanting to be a hero for financial reasons. But financial reasons for your parents? I only make sense. You truly are a kind-hearted person. You know that, Uraka? But soon, she's saying, oh, <laughs> thanks, Ojiro. I appreciate that. But soon... A person saying, yeah, you're a lot more nicer than you let on. You know that, Ojiro, right? But soon, Ojiro was taken back by that, saying, ah, wait, that voice, uh, Hakagori? With soon, the, the invisible girl of Class 1A, Hagakure, basically stands right beside e Ojiro. With soon, Izuku saying, wow, I didn't even sense her presence. She must be really good at detect uh, non-detention. With Sue, she's saying, oh, oh, Chaco, I'm cheering for you too, girlfriend. Give it everything you got. With Soon, she's saying, thanks, Toru. I appreciate the cheer, the cheerfulness. As both girls soon pump their fists into the air, screaming, yeah. But soon, the remaining three guys couldn't help but smile at the scene that they at their, that they're looking at. Within them all heading to the cafeteria. But soon a boy within a UA uniform has that of earphones, but also green hair. As soon he puts his ear he puts his headphones on. As then he, a person with that of a sleepy voice saying, Hey Shun, shouldn't we I'm tired with then saying, Mintang, why don't you just go? Go somewhere to get a nap. As for me, I'm gonna head back to the classroom. But then saying, okay, but can I ask you, why are you on the first year floors instead of on the second year floors? But soon saying, I had a, I just needed to look at a certain two people or a certain person with green hair by any chance. That's all. After this, the guy by, guy by calls him made by Shun basically le heads off. 
with. Then the day begins coming to an end, but soon er tons of students are in front of Class 1A with a couple students who are kind of confused. Then Bakugo screaming out, you idiots, they're here to scope out the competition for, for the sports festival, of course. Not only that, they also know that we took on actual villains, so they want to know about that too. As he soon heads to the exit of Class 1A, soon saying, move it, extras. But then, Izuku basically face palming himself. With then, Ojo saying, is that truly necessary, Bakugo? Then Ida saying, while chopping his arm, saying, You can't just call people extras, Bakugo! You need to control that! But soon, a boy with purple hair soon came to Class 1, class one A's entrance, saying, Wow, is everyone in this class basically a stuck-up prick, or are you the only exception? But soon, they soon look at him, as he basically looks like he didn't have much sleep in his at, for the next couple of days or so, somewhat similar to that of Aizawa. What soon saying, my name is Hitoshi Shinzo. I'm from class 1C, basically general studies. But it's not like any of you care about that. The point is, many of us are here because we wanted to be part of the hero course as well. However, we didn't have what it to cut it in the entrance exam. So we had to choose a different elective. Just letting you all know, this class has one of the biggest targets on their backs. Not because of just the villain thing, but because we all want to be part of this class. It isn't just so you guys can be scouted out by pros and all that. It's also to see if any of you are were only able to get in the class by fluke. And see if they can make room for one of us. Or any of us, actually. With hearing this... As he's ba as Izuki saying, so this is basically a declaration of war. You're coming for our spots in this classroom. Everyone is at that. But soon he actually fully says that he that this is a declaration of war on Class One A. But soon, hearing this, Bakugo gets pissed. But then, even those of Class 1B declare war on Class 1A as well. But soon, everyone in Class 1A has their work cut out for them. But some of them are not worried. Not one bit. But soon, Izuku begins training with that of Terry and Rock. As he wants to continue getting stronger and stronger and wanting to improve himself. The same thing also goes with Ojiro, as he trains with Andy and Mai, and even his fellow student under Andy being Hokutomaru, as he wants to increase his speed, and not only that, he also wants to increase on how much damage he can take, because after what happened with Billy, he feels like he was basically knocked out, and Izuku had to make up for his slack. For, his slack. for that, he can't allow that as he continues taking hits while dodging them at the same time, was he wants to get stronger, so he doesn't feel like an, well, baggage for Izuku at all. Never again. With, as for Izuku, he continu he continues dealing out da damage to Terry and Rock. However, Rock is still not at 100% yet, Give with his fight with Mr. Big, but he does heal faster though. So he's at least at, well, 96% at full strength. As for Izuku, he's still not at 100% of his full strength. He's at least 80, 82% with then Terry noticing this, basically saying, all right, how about we take five? But soon Izuku, Basically, he adds heavy breath. So he's saying, no, I can still go. But then, Rock saying, Izuku, enough. You're not at 100% and you know this. It's best we take five now or not. But soon, Izuku saying, yes, I understand. But then, he, 
with Terry basically throwing a couple of drinks at Rock and Izuku. But soon, Terry saying, I understand that the UA Sports Festival is coming up, but you don't need to push yourself this far, Izuku. You know that, right? But soon, he's saying, I know, I get it. But still, I, I still want to get stronger. I want to get stronger. Especially if Geese Howard is up to something. I want to make sure that I'm at 100%, where at least I'm strong enough to handle his, his damn minions. That's, ex that's at least what I want. With Finn saying this, this is what soon he having a smirk on his face saying, all right then, if that's the case, then with soon tossing his drink in the air and then rushing at Izuku, with then Izuku actually was caught off guard as he guards from the attacks, trying to basically block each and every one. It's saying, you gotta be light on your feet, Izuku. Be prepared for anything that comes at you, even me. But soon, Izuku saying, yes, I get it, but... Before, he actually dodged a kick coming for his face. But then, Terry screams out, burn knuckle! But soon, Izuku is hit dead, dead set in his chest be not back as he's tr as he's coughing pretty profusely but not coughing up blood though which soon saying well izuku is that all you got if that's the case then you'll never be able to beat well geese howard hell you'll never even be able to even touch billy what soon izuku saying don't underestimate me master i will get stronger i will get stronger and i will protect everyone that's exactly what I want! Not just as a hero, but as a fighter! With Soon, he begins channeling Earth energy throughout his body. With Soon, something begins feeling, as Rock can tell that there's a change within Izuku's form, as it feels rough, as it feels powerful, as then, even the wind even feels like the wind is starting to act up around Izuku with Terry no taking a notice as he couldn't help but smirk. With then Izuku rushes at the hungry wolf and soon screams out, Burn Knuckle! With then his burn knuckle isn't just charged with that of earth energy, but also of that of lightning. As it was soon as it felt like it was basically being sent flying at top speeds. With then Terry was able to guard it, mostly by pure reflex. But soon he was skidding back. Even skidding so skidding so far back, he he actually tripped and soon landing on his butt. With then Izuku trying to catch his breath as his hand is still smoking from that punch. But then Rock was even taken back by that, thinking, Izuku, did you just? With that a surprised face on his, on him. But then Terry couldn't help but smile and soon laugh, as saying, well, that's what I expected. I knew that you were, you, you still had much left in the tank, Izuku. But soon Izuku saying, wait, that energy. That wasn't the Hakyoku Seiken's earth power. That felt, that felt. What soon, Terry saying, like lightning. It's like, how is that? What then, Terry saying, something that Master Tung Fu Ru told me. The Hakyoku Seiken is full of different types of energy. Its main aspect is that of earth. However, there are some people that, that specialize in different key energy. For you, it looks like it may be lightning. So, if you want to continue on improving on this, this may be the tr game changer you need. Not just for the sports festival, not just as a pro hero, but as a fighter who's willing to protect everybody. So, what do you say, Izuku? You ready for some training that may even put you at death's door again? But soon... Izuku's eyes been whining as begins thinking deeply, but soon him saying, I'm ready. Let's do it. 
But soon, Terry adjusting his hat and saying, Come on, come on. Show me what you got, kid. But then, Izuku getting in the same fighting stance, saying, I'm ready, master. Bring it! As the two begin to clash between each other. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I would love to read them. And also, please like and subscribe, which also helps out this channel a lot. And hit that bell notification to keep up to date with my other videos when I upload. Just letting you guys know. Also, please check out my Discord and my gaming channel. Links will be in the description below. And please check out BBB Comics. Their links to their website, app, and also Google Play will, will be in links down below. So with all that said, this is Leo Mookie, signing out. Later, guys. Hi, everyone. This is White Fox. If you like Leon's video, click the video on the left to see the most recent one. And if you want to see more of this, click the subscribe button and notification bell and check out his playlist. If you still haven't subscribed, do so in the center. With that said, I hope to see you again on my love's channel. Bye!